this time on Sovereign Sea. We're going around that first coat and wet sanding it by hand to get a really nice smooth finish. But this is a lot more fun sanding than what we have been doing for the last few months. Let's get started. Cheers. Um, as you can see, it's a huge dragonfly. <laughs> um, we have gotten the entire first coat of paint sanded down. Probably tomorrow we're going to go in with tape and acetone and our next coat of paint. Neither of us are 100%. Uh, she's got a lot on her plate during the week. I got a lot on my plate during the week. It is <laughs> mentally and physically exhausting to put yourself through something like this. Welcome to Sovereign Sea. I'm Becca, and together with my husband Tim and our two duck paws, Hazel and Sally, we are embarking on the journey of a lifetime, carving a life for ourselves upon the water. We're happy to have you on board. Let's figure it out together as we go. So today is another beautiful Saturday, we are here, and last week you may have seen that we put on our first coat of top coat on our haul. So today, what we're starting with this morning is that we're going around that first coat and wet sanding it by hand to get a really nice smooth finish so that tomorrow we can go in with our second coat which may or may not be our final coat of paint on the hull. And yeah, so right now we are sanding, but this is a lot more fun sanding than what we have been doing for the last few months. And so I'm excited. Plus the weather is extremely beautiful. It's pretty cool outside right now. Um, it'll warm up later in the day, but it's just been blue skies. And yeah, it's been really, really nice here. Really nice working weather, so. Let's get started. Cheers.
mark. We have gotten the entire first coat of paint sanded down. So Tim went in where there were any drips where we had gone in a little bit too thick with the paint and did all the sort of hard to sand areas. And then I just went over everything that was already pretty smooth um, just to rough it up so that we're ready for our next coat, hopefully tomorrow. So the next step is going to be washing the boat. So we'll do that. And then um, probably tomorrow we're gonna go in with tape and acetone and our next coat of paint.
All right. <clears throat> Good morning. It is Sunday morning here. Happy Easter. Um, I know we been like solely focused on getting, you know, another coat of paint on this thing. And we said yesterday during all the work we were doing that we were going to put another coat of paint on. But I'm um, going to tell you this morning, um, both of us woke up. Neither of us are a hundred percent. Becca is really not there at all. And I'm probably 60%, maybe, maybe 50%. Um, so we just both decided that uh, we're going to wait until Saturday. You know, it's like, it's so much work to tape acetone, paint, and then you have to have two people when you paint. You can't just be one person. I can't come out here and do it by myself. She can't come out here and do it by herself. You gotta have two people working at the same time because even if you're cutting in, you've gotta keep a wet edge. That paint has to stay wet as you're painting it. Otherwise you end up with weird lines and stuff like that that we had to sand out yesterday. Um, <coughs> but I just wanna remind everybody that um, when we got here in October, we worked uh, October through the end of December. We had a couple of breaks, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, and then we got back after the Christmas break. It's been nothing but nose to the grindstone since we got back. I mean, it has been grueling work sanding that bottom. Um, I work five days a week at a day job that's mentally taxing. Um, she works, you know, five days a week uh, on the boat doing her thing. She's cleaning. She's maybe doing little projects that aren't that bad, but she's taking care of everything, uh, cooking breakfast, uh, usually cooking dinner, uh, making me lunch, things like that. She's just, she's got a lot on her plate during the week. I got a lot on my plate during the week. And every weekend it's been, you know, something to do with the boat. Uh, three weeks out of the time that we've been here, I took uh, PTO from work and we did nothing but work on the boat. Uh, the only day we've had, um, completely to ourselves was Valentine's Day. We took off and went to the beach and that was amazing. Uh, but it is mentally and physically exhausting to put yourself through something like this. It was just a s seven days, at, you know, grind, 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 grind. You go to bed at 10 o'clock, you wake up at seven and you grind and it's just, it's a lot. And if you don't take time for yourself uh, you're not doing yourself any favors. So that's uh, so what we both decided is that today we might do, so there's some little things that we have that we could do that just aren't physically and mentally taxing, but actually painting the boat have to move at a certain speed because the paint keeps you moving at a certain speed. And just neither one of us feel like we can do that today. So wanted to let you guys know that was the case, uh, but we will you know, find some other things to do even if it's just go goof off. Uh, we got some little projects here that we can do. Maybe we go goof off in the park or something. We'll take you guys with us. Thought I would show you guys this little guy really quick before I release him back out. This front wing had gotten bent. Um, as you can see, it's a huge dragonfly. <laughs> um, and this wing over on this side on the front had gotten bent um and the dragonfly was just laying there where cars drive so i picked him up and i worked a little bit with this wing um it was like permanently standing straight up which i don't think was helping because it's a little breezy today so um it's now laying flat again and it seems like the dragonfly has control over it um but yeah, the the body is a little bit bent as well. Um, so I'm just going to release it. It's still clinging on to life. It's clinging on to my hand now, I think, because it realizes that I'm trying to help. Um, but I'm going to release this little, little one back by the river and see 
See if maybe he or she can fly. you have okay it's a little alligatorish over here so we gotta do a check I think we're okay do you have any interest in perhaps sitting on this flower oh there are bugs on there oh shit <gasps> that might have been a gator it was a little one if it was all right let me just make sure there are gators out here, you guys. Oh shit. What is that? Is that a snake? All right. Today is crazy. Let's just try to do a gentle drop on this flower. How about that? How do you feel about the flower? What do you think? Do you want to go to the flower? Yeah? Maybe? You're so beautiful. What do you want? You want the flower? No? How about this one? That one okay? You just want the ground? How's that? Your little face planty there, buddy. Is that not comfortable? Maybe the shade would be better. Oh, and this little one is not wanting to go. <laughs> what do you think about being by the water? Do you want to go here? In the shade? Uh oh, Wick is coming. Alright, let's not do that. Let's put you over here. By that little blue flower. Is that okay? Will you get off? This is your exit, sir. let go. Oh, he's really not wanting to let go of my finger. Like, I'm trying to put him down, but he's not wanting to go. This is a couple videos ago, maybe three or four videos ago, you guys saw Becca taking a piece off of the railing upstairs. This is where the name of the boat was. Uh, I sanded it yesterday and sanded the, all the stickers with the name off. There's still like a shadow on there of where the name was. So what we're going to do, uh, and also it's sanded through in a few places. This is just a piece of fiberglass, it's a fiberglass panel. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cover it with this uh, Ultra Cover white primer, and then I've got a uh, flat white paint, because the rest of them, the paint's so old that it's just flat. Um, hopefully it'll blend in more or less. You know, the plan is when we paint the upper deck up there to take all these off, and uh, actually I wanna make them bigger. I want uh, bigger panels up there that go cover the entire railing um, so that when we put a uh, screen um, a, a screen enclosure on there, it actually keeps the bugs out. Because right now, I mean, there's huge gaping gaps at the bottom. Every bug and his brother. So 
that's not what I want. So we're going to work to fix that. And uh, so we can make new fiberglass panels and they'll be painted to match the uh, upper part of the hull of the superstructure as it were. So anyway, uh, I've got this all washed and acetoned and I'm going to go ahead and hit it with uh, some primer here. It's nothing fancy. I'm going to pour it out onto the panel and roll it with uh, a foam roller. That's it. Like I said, nothing fancy at all. So this is the swim platform that I'm working on. This is the bottom of it. You can tell these stains here are where the supports fit under the bottom. And if you look here, you can see how eaten up and damaged this thing is. What you can't see is how thin the wood is in places around here. You can't see that. You can't see somebody had a weaver uh, platform mounted on here, which is what we want to put our dinghy on. <clears throat> it lets you clip the dinghy in and fold it up so that the dinghy rides on the swim platform. It's pretty sweet. Um, it's better than the davits that we have now that leak. So we're going to take those davits off and this swim platform is going to have to be totally reconditioned um, the plan is to uh, get it sanded uh, it doesn't have to be all one color because i have a cleaner coming i'm just going to get it basically sanded smooth and then when i get the cleaner here i'm going to run the cleaner on it to fix the color then i'm going to put a single coat of regular epoxy all over the whole thing and then the bottom's going to get a uh epoxy um epoxy and mat and then that way um it'll add strength because right now this thing is is pretty flimsy and i'm worried that even just walking us just walking on it might break it um, once i get it built depending on what i think of the strength i might add extra supports on the bottom as well this is one of today's easy projects just sanding
The flowers bloom in springtime. The leaves fly in the fall. But we have one another through the changes of the morn. These unspoken wonders, these stories left to tell. Nobody behind the camera, so no really body to really ask if that's good. Yeah. So we closed out another weekend. Um, both of us are pretty beat. Uh, but I gave you the big speech this morning about how beat we were, how beat down and all. And, and uh, I didn't realize how many muscles hand sanding works <laughs> in your body. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, I still went outside and, and was going to do some work and I actually did do some work. I took apart some things and, and started sanding the uh, old swim platform. Um, and I put paint on the panel that we took off that had the old name on the boat. And I went inside to get a soda and to just rest for a second. And I went and laid down on the bed next to Becca and woke up like seven hours later or something. It wasn't seven it felt hours. like it was 15 hours. He never naps. I, so yeah. That's how you know. I woke up all discombobulated, dizzy, and need a good nap just stumbled to the long. bathroom. Yeah. It's good for you. Tell him it's good for you. Yeah. Take a little siesta, a little snooze. I did get up at three o'clock this morning, so. Right. Yeah. <sighs> well, we didn't get the coat of paint that we wanted to get on this weekend, but I'm honestly accepting of it. Um, the weather gods, knock on teak, have been very. Uh, accepting the last few weekends and so I'm hoping that that trend continues and we'll get some nice weather windows to put another coat on at the very least um, if not a third coat as well. Yeah the forecast for this coming weekend is uh, just like today really just like this whole weekend has been um, 80 degrees very low humidity so but you never know things can no. change um, but yeah but hopefully that holds and we can get uh, yeah, get what we need to get right. done done. So. All right. If uh, you like our videos, hit like, subscribe. Um, if you want to support the project, there's a coffee link uh, down below. Um, you can buy us a coffee. Uh, what else? Keep us going on our project. Thank you for being here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Have a fantastic week. Peace out. I love you. Uh. <laughs> I used to do flags in high school. Oh, that's pretty good, actually.